ACC Fat Throwdown, number one Duke, number seven Virginia. First tab, Jason Clark rocking the rim. Virginia had lost 12 of 13 to Duke coming in. Later first tab, Jason Williams, All-American, getting some bunnies with a Baduka dunk. 11th time this season, Jay Wills had 20 or more points. Second half, Williams, three. Boo, yeah. 27 points on the night. Then Carlos Boozer, averaging 22 points per game since their loss to FSU. Oh, they ain't gonna say that, but that ain't right. Later, Duke up nine, Duhan to Boozer. Holla! He had 25 points. Then Elton Brown misses Duke the other way. Boozer, come on, come on now. Duke is straight rolling. Six straight game, Boozer's at 20 plus points. Duke wins it 94 to 81. Duke has won six straight, all by double digits. St. Joe's and Villanova, Ricky Wright, Gary Buchanan. Uh, he was a story in this one for three. Wildcats up 41-23. Then Buchanan again. As Villanova goes up 47-31. And just before the half, Buchanan another three. Wildcats 21 of 34 from the floor in the first half. Second half more of the same. Buchanan again. Yes, can. And then on the break, another three. Buchanan, seven threes, 28 points. Nova wins it 102-73. Ricky Wright and Reggie Bryant score 17 each. Wildcats have beaten St. Joe's five straight. Jeff Johnson adding to the stats for three. Utah's up one. His brother Britton Johnson here, later first half. On defense with the block, he fell down, but he gets right back up and gets back into the play, running the floor, and then gets the pass and takes it into the lay-in. Utah's up by nine. End of the first half, it's Nick Jab Jacobson for three that rattles in, and Utah wins it 71-66. Utah's won 12 in a row overall. Utes also 56-1 and one in conference home games over the Tigers and the Jayhawks. And it is our showcase highlight. Kansas students camping out for eight days for tickets to the big game. Kansas trying to go to 7-0 in conference play on the season. But Kansas' first conference loss the last six seasons has come at the hands of Missouri. One at home and five on the road. Early on, Drew Gooden. The block runs the floor. And he's going to get the roll on the short jumper. Later, good spin move. Baseline jumper, then Gooden on defense is steal, and the jam, he hit his first six shots. Still first half, Gooden missing, but there to dunk it, his own miss. 17.6 boards in the first half. Still first half, Kansas up four, off the turnover. Kirk Heinrich in transition. The lay-in and the foul, three-point play. Kansas up seven, but Missouri trying to keep it close. Clarence Gilbert for three. And then Wesley Stokes, that's good for three. Missouri eight out of 15 from three-point land in the first half. Now Gilbert, another three. He had 16 in the first half, 17-8 run for Missouri to end the half. Coach Williams' team shooting 59% in the first half, but they only lead by one. Second half, Gooden laying it up. Moments later, Gooden, baby hook. He had 26 points, he had 10 rebounds. Kansas pulling away. Now Gooden to the floor. Great hustle. Starts to break. Jeff Bochy to Heinrich to Bochy for three. 17 3 run to start the half for Kansas. Later, Missouri now down 19. Watch this. Arthur Johnson. Arthur Johnson has significant issues. Rejected by the rim. Dicey. Coach Quinn Snyder. Not my hair's fault. Later, Kansas up 76-58. Nick Collis in the block. Kansas running. Bochi. Alley-oop. Gooden. And a foul. Three-point play. Coach Williams all smiles. All Kansas. 105-73. They're now 7-0 in the Big 12 for the first time since the 96-97 season. Gooden, the 26 points, 10 boards. His 16th double-double in 20 games this season. Heinrich, 23 points. Four of five from three-point land. Kansas outscoring Missouri 62-31 in the second half. Coach Williams just knows how to motivate us at halftime to go back out there, you know, give it our all. And he told us at halftime that we don't want to lead the court knowing that the team out hustled us. And uh, I think that was our main focus at halftime was to come out the second half and be more alert defensively, and that would get our game going offensively.
We can get better every day. I don't care who you are. Tiger Woods, he doesn't beat all those guys because he rests on his laurels. He beats all those guys because he works harder. And uh, that's what we need to try to do ourselves is work harder every single day. The 32-point win for Kansas, the third largest over a ranked team in school history. Four of the five biggest wins have come since 1995. And Monday's win, a lot like last year's, 29-point blowout of Syracuse in the NCAA tournament. To the Big East, Georgetown looking to put the squeeze on the 10th-ranked Orange and Preston Shumpert. Corneal abrasion, 19 minutes, he played only three points. Tied at 23, Kevin Braswell can't find it. Wesley Wilson grabs the board, puts it home. Hoyas out-rebounded Syracuse, 47-22. Hoyas up three and running Mike Sweetney, fouled by Cleft Dewaney, throws it in with the right hand. Sweetney, 18 points, 13 boards. Craig Forth knocked away by Sweetney and then by Braswell. Braswell takes it in for the finish. 16 points, 6 deals, 5 assists. Syracuse trying to keep it close, down 14. James Theus is a thief ahead to Deshaun Williams, no doubt. Team high, 13 points for Williams. Orange down 12, but Georgetown too strong. Just watch. Cortland Freeman, see what I mean? 5 points for Freeman. The Georgetown mascot uh, can taste the vitamin C in Shumpert. Well, he can't stand to watch. Before knocking off number 10 Syracuse, Georgetown, get this, had been 0-6 against teams currently ranked in the top 25. The Orangemen lose for the third time in four games. And there's the animation to prove it. To the Gator Nation, uh, Dickie V, Ashley Judd, double jeopardy. Closing seconds of the first half, Justin Hamilton is a thief. Looking ahead to the freshman phenom, James White, Dickie V. He's a high loser, Mr. Levy. He's a missing you, Dr. Good to see Dickie still focused. Time winding down, Tayshawn Prince, royalty. 19 points, 10 boards, his 11th career double-double. Florida down one second half, Brett Nelson. Marquise Estal swats it. Prince, Keith Bogans. You know, in three career games at Florida, Bogans has averaged just over 24 points a game. Then, Udonis Haslam with a steal, and he's starting the break. James White, White, that's saucy. Nine points for him. Soon after, it's Bogans pickpocketing Nelson. And then why not finish it? Acrobatic. We're tied. A few minutes later, it's Prince. Trying to save it, but it's a turnover. So Nelson ahead to the high fly. Illmatic. James White tied at 61. A little under three minutes to go. It's Haslam working down low. Spinorama. Forceful. 14 points, eight boards for Haslam. We're tied. A minute and a half go. Keep Bogans. Money. Tubby Smith agrees. Wildcats up by four. 110 left. Orion Green responding. Right back at you. 13 points. Gators within one. Under a minute to go. Prince having his way on the baseline. And then the one-handed lefty, Jay. Kentucky up three. Ten seconds remaining. Bogans misses the second of two straight free throws. Florida with a chance for the win. Five seconds left. Look, look who's open. It's green, but Nelson rushes his jumper try. He misses. Cliff Hawkins comes down with a board. Disappointed Gators. Tubby Smith ecstatic. Kentucky wins 70 to 68. Kentucky putting itself back into the hunt for the SEC East title. It sends Florida to its first three game losing streak since the 1997 98 season. Nation's leader in scoring defense, hosting East Carolina. Bob Huggins ready to go. Bearcats pressing. That's right. Jamal Davis picks off the pass. Leonard Stokes back to Davis. That was nice. One of 18 ECU turnovers. Later in the first, Bearcats. Controlling. Steve Logan, head fake. Great move. Logan moves into fifth all time in Bearcat scoring. Cincinnati wins easily. Since he putting East Carolina away with that full court press, something Jamal Davis says they didn't work on at all in practice, but it worked well on this day. Preseason Big Ten favorite, Illinois, against current conference leader Ohio State and Columbus. First half, Buckeyes rolling along. Sean Connolly for three, part of a 12-zip run. OSU up 14. Later in the first 17-point game, Brent Darby. The Saturday's loss at Minnesota lit a fire under him. Didn't like losing to the goal. First, late in the second, Ohio State's lead down to seven. Darby, fancy dribbling. He's got it. Swell dribbler. He had 22. Buckeyes win a 78-67. That's just a sign Illinois hasn't won a game on the road. I'll guarantee you that. Darby unguarded, actually, most of the night. 16 of 18 from the free throw line. Part of that 22-point total. Boston College, a little Big East road trip down south to Miami. John Sams with the ball. John Sams, nine points. He ain't heavy. He's my teammate. Hurricanes go up 54-51. BC down four. 
Ryan Sidney get the members bounce. He had 18. Eagles pull within two. Under two minutes to go. BC down. Give me a Troy Bell. Troy Bell three. He finished with 25. BC 70-65. Winner.